you're probably white here or something anyway, you know what I mean? When's the last time you had one? Well, do you know, maybe I actually, do you mind Fergie Stag? Aye. Up the fucking hill? Aye. <laughs> Possibly then, mate. Was it? Aye. Aye, aye. Do you think I had about a time off or something? I'll see what, I'll tell you what I like, Christmas time, so I get two weeks after Christmas, I like that wee cheeky number in. But <laughs> what the festive, what the festive season that's Aye, mate, aye. Fucking right, man. It's fucking criminal, isn't it, that? You can't. You can't do it. Do you know what I mean? No, mates, I wish we could have all this on it now. See, this, this is great part. I don't aye, know what I mean. Aye, I could be aye awesome. fuck it. Legalise cannabis, isn't it? That's fucking... That's the fucking main message. Aye. <laughs> I think as an old man, like Britain has per fucking standard Britain on the dark ages, we ain't they? Mate, that is... I'll have a look at... Uh, no, every other country. But even you know, America, but... America, you know, who's <laughs> one of the most fucking... Backwards country aye, with, some, with some laws. Aye, but a lot of laws, man. South, it's like and fucking... And then... Go like that, bang, hold on now, we can make billions for us. Aye. Let's fucking do this. Is that there's a lighter behind you on that keyboard? Uh, can I see one, mate? The one, the one hang the one hang I needed before we kicked off. <laughs> can I see it, mate? Oh, I'm fucking making it. It's alright, mate, I'll just learn so I can see you. That's it, it's all a learning curve. Yeah, it's a learning curve. <laughs> Good evening, folks, and welcome to another episode of The Studio with Paul Shearer. On this week's episode, I've got my good friend, Johnny Miller, who's a Scottish hip-hop artist, um, and we're going to delve into his story and his process and how he, how you write tunes, how you write rap tunes and that in this day and age, you know what I mean? Ah, it's all computers, <laughs> mate. <laughs> I, mean, I love it, I love it, I love the computers for it now. I, I used to know, like... Really appreciate the full value and like making music on aye. the computer, mate. But see, mm-hmm. now I'm like a big aye. convert, man. A big I was convert. actually being sarcastic, mate. A pen aye. and pad, man. Fucking does is that me. all you do? Well, don't get us wrong, obviously. I get the beats and that for fucking aye. Uh, online or whatever. But in terms of writing tunes, I fucking uh, sometimes in my phone, I write, aye, I write lyrics on my phone if just something just comes to my head. But I'm a big, f- I'm still a fan of the pen and pad, man. <laughs> to be honest with you, mate, I'll, I'll, I'll stuck my ways, maybe, but it I, fucking works. I would say, I would say, I need to agree with you, mate. I, if I've got a pen and pad sitting, in fact, I, I put it aside before I came down today this podcast and right. my pen and pad ways. You know what I mean? Aye, so aye. I, I get it, I get aye, it. Aye, aye, aye. So what's been happening, mate? How have you been doing musical stuff? You've been. Totally honest, a mate. A it's been, it's been quiet, now. man. As you know, you go through your quiet spells. Ach, mate, we're all coming out a big, a big quiet spell. Um, do you know what I mean? Like that's. Uh, I think the last time I put a tune out was about a year ago. Done a freestyle on a channel called 1250 TV through in Edinburgh. Went through there, done a couple of tunes. And I've just started writing uh, again recently, so I have. But it was probably a, an eight, nine month period there where I was just fucking going to work and looking after Wayne's and fucking pine bills. And yeah, I've done it as well. Do you know what I mean? And you fucking, right. pff, you're like, ah, what's going on with tunes here, man? And people are asking you what's happening and that. Um, and as I say just recently, mate, I think sometimes it just takes a, a you hear a wee beat or something in your lap and it just gives you a wee nudge. Aye. A wee bit of fucking a wee, bit, a wee bit of momentum. Aye, a wee bit of momentum, man. And then I just started fucking writing again recently, so definitely hope to release something again in the future, in the near future. Brilliant, mate. You know what brilliant. I mean? Oh, that's great news, mate. That's great news. <coughs> well, let's take it back to the start, John. You know what I mean? Aye, aye. Did, what was the first? Uh, what was the first thing that made you want to be a musician? Made you want to rap? What made you want to get into music? I was a heavy hip hop fan for like ten. I mind mean, being in like primary five. And my older brother, you, you know, my brother Andy, he had a fucking heavy collection of hip hop. Great guy. Great guy. Aye. All right. <laughs> and, uh, no, he he had a heavy fucking hip hop collection, man. Like Ice Cube, N.W.A. All his all his cats. And uh, when he used to leave the house, I just used to dig through his CDs and listen to all his tunes. So I was like heavy into Tupac. I was really into Eminem in primary school. Really into him. And like a lot of people in my class that were like, what the fuck's he listening to? What's he on about? Because it was like primary school. Aye, aye. And a lot of folk had never heard this shit. But by the time they got into first and second year, they were all, all, they were all into it by that aye, time. But aye. I'm like, I've been listening to this for fucking years. You dafties. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, I, I, I was just a heavy hip hop fan, mate. And I used to, I used, to, I never wrote raps, but I used to freestyle and that. Just make up my own making of raps in my head. But we about ahead of the curve there, but anyway, that's good. Aye, aye, that's aye. Good, aye. Um, so just that, mate. And then I never even knew Scottish hip hop existed. I knew obviously American hip hop existed, and I knew English hip hop existed, and I was into it. Um, but I never ever heard a Scottish rapper. And then my pal Steve Trainer, 
aka aye. Simba. Aye. He got into no, a great guy. Aye. He got into writing tunes and that before me. And he was like recording stuff and he was letting me hear it. And I was like, that's fucking quality. He's like, you should get into it. Like, you should get a go because you're that much into hip hop. So I was like, fuck it. Started notepad and pen, as I say. Um, and just started writing tunes, mate. And I, I just started to pure enjoy writing tunes. And I, I wrote like 50 tunes. <laughs> and then I went up to Steve's and started recording. I probably recorded like 50 tunes. And he's You've like, recorded 50, aye. Oh, fuck, That's have I brilliant. recorded 50 tunes? Uh, I, I recorded 50 tunes before any could ever heard a tune for me. Mate, that is a, that's a, a lot of recording today, mate. But I was I mean? so fucking reluctant to put anything out, and he's like, you need to pass out, you need to, ah, nah, I don't, scared of what console hink, basically, and I'm not sure that's what it was. And then eventually I got a, got a tune, can't even mind if it, No Way Back or something it was called, and I was like, fuck it, this is going out. Put it out, got a pretty good response, and that was a, that was the start of the... Putting uh, releasing music, so putting it, was. it on YouTube, putting it on YouTube aye, and, and, sound, and SoundCloud as aye, well. Was the other one, aye. SoundCloud Excellent. first because it was just tunes to begin with. For a couple of years, it was just audio tunes. Aye. And then I done my first video in 2014. Aye, aye. And then that's when I started getting a bigger response. And I was like, videos are the way to go here. Aye. Do you know what I mean? It seems like that was a bit of a pivot. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of Scottish hip hop guys that would say it was much earlier. But for me, like as a musician looking for the outside, it seemed like that was a kind of period where it was all. Uh, it was all firing up anyway. Uh, yeah, you know I, mean? I think YouTube played a massive part, oh, man. And for people sure, being aye. able to put their, put their music on there, do you know what I mean, on that platform. So, aye, definitely, mate. Totally, man. Oh, that's, that's great, mate. That's great. So, what was uh, what age were you with this, about this kind of period when you first started putting stuff up on YouTube and uh, then when you first started doing a few videos? Well, I first started putting things on... I started rapping, basically, writing and rapping when I was at 22, 23, which is really late because most people I know... I ended up getting to know I started like 15, 16, Aye. 17, 18. So I was a quote unquote a late bloomer. <laughs> um, but in a way, I'd soaked up so much hip hop, and I know that sounds pure. Calm down, Johnny. But I, <laughs> I actually feel as if it gave us a bit of a head start by the totally. time I started making tunes because I'd just fucking. I'd, I'd noticed so many people had started doing it and just fell away after a couple of months. They maybe weren't getting the results as quick as they wanted. Aye. They maybe just hip hop was a fad to them. Aye. Do you know what I mean? And they were into it for six months. Totally. And totally. fucking fell away. But as I say, I'd been into it. I was ten. Like even when I stopped rapping, or if I ever day, like I'll always be a hip hop fan. Aye. First, do you know what I mean? So, um, but I was in my early twenties, mate, when I started making tunes, and I was probably like my 24, 25 when I put my first video out. So I was, I was a good bit older, man, to be fair. Aye, I, mate, well, that's, that's, I feel as if I, the, the, the flip side to that is, if I'd have start, I always think if I'd have started when I was 18, where could I have been by this point? But that's it is what true, it is, aye, do you aye. know what I mean? It so is what it is. Maybe, it just, maybe it had, you had to go through what you, you're aiming mate, it, like to. Mate, you know to, I mean? to be like honest, at 18, I probably wouldn't have the mentality to do it. Totally, mate. Do you know what I mean? Look so at how many boys you're talking about who did fall away through at that no, time. I might, I might have been the same, mate. I might have known the patience. I might have been like that. And I might have just been like that. I'm no fucking doing that. Do you know what I mean? Aye. I'd have been too too worried about... I mean, I was worried about what people thought, but not at the point it was going to stop me doing it. It's a big theme, um, like, worrying about... Oh, absolutely. Worrying about people's opinions and, uh, like, putting yourself out there for judgment with being a musician Aye, and a creative type. And, 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 you know, like, it does turn a lot of people off it oh, before they definitely. even get started, you know? Definitely, mate. Aye, like, the one thing, man, you need to be... See, the bottom line is, if you go on to some of the biggest artists, videos in the world, Eminem, Bob Marley, fucking Bob Dylan, Oasis, whoever. You go on to any video, you'll see that it's got millions of views. You'll see it's got thousands of thumbs up, but you also see it's got thousands of thumbs down. Aye. I don't care, fucking Elton John, Prince, nobody makes something that everybody likes. No, no, totally. Do you know what I mean? Totally and right you right. need to be aware of that. And the bottom line is, the way I, I've kind of seen it is, is like, Three people might like it, three people might dislike it, and three people just might not give a fuck either mm. way. So, no, everybody's going to love it. You're going to get criticised, but it takes balls to do it as well. So, I, I used to always love the cats, man. There was a lot of cunts that used to say to me, Johnny, I'm, I'm not really into it, man, but I respect what you're doing. Aye. And I fucking loved that, because it was like a pure, honest, it was so much better than somebody just blowing smoke up your ass or the opposite side, without even listening to a word, they act shite, Aye. Scottish rap lot of pish, uh, embarrassing, <laughs> it's like, mate, I could accept that, see if somebody listens to it genuinely and doesn't like it, you're like, fair play, you've mm. gave it a go, and that's how I loved it when people were like, it's no my cup of tea, 
but fair fox to you for doing I was probably thing. one of them, to be fair, mate. Well, possibly, I might mate, have been one of them. Possibly. And, and you've again, always been quite open-minded, I know. Totally, know I mean? mate, 100%. And I, I'm a big, big music head, so obviously, like, I'm a big fan of a lot of hip-hop as well. Aye, aye, definitely. And it was, uh, I, like... I'm sure, like, there's a lot of people spoke about it, but I, I mean, for me, it was a bit weird at first when I first heard a few people doing I, it. Maybe the like, accent, I know, again. I, I mean, it might have been, mate, but I thought to myself, you can listen to an East London accent and you can't uh, listen to a Scottish I accent. What, we, the road. what are we talking about uh, here? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, as much as I did have some uh, versions, Reser- reservations. Some, have some reservations uh, right, yeah. at, right at the start at all, mate, but I think, like, as a songwriter, I know, see the first time you ever try to write a rap song, you, very, you know very quickly how much you're complicated and aye, absolutely, aye. laborious process aye, it is. Aye. Mate. I mean, like, for, if you take even just into like, the logistics of like writing lyrics, I'll write that amount of lyrics mm-hmm. and that'll be my whole tune. Aye. Whereas that'll be one verse in a rap song aye, and that aye. is like, that's an intense aye, amount of aye, work, aye. you know, and, like, you need so to put in it. So you're, it's you're, a, you're, you're figuring out verses and choruses. And like I used to always hear people in the early days, a sixteen, this a sixteen, and I'm like, what the fuck's a sixteen? <laughs> Turns out it's a standard verse for a for a rap song. Aye. If you like, I don't know. It's it's that standard si- in normal music aye. day. Usually, I'm just, well, I'm assuming they'll be talking about sixteen bars. Ah, yeah, exactly. So, so about that's aye, a that's aye. a fairly normal thing to so, come across in aye, normal aye, song writing. Like, yeah. it's it's a process, um, but a process that. As you know yourself, when you when you fucking fall in love with something, because you do fall in love with, mm-hmm. I, I I certainly did anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, it's no as if oh fuck, I need to learn this. It's like I want to learn this. Do you know what I mean? And so I learned how to kind of structure songs that we we chorus, sorry verses and choruses and stuff like that. And uh, aye, I know. Man, wait, that's that's ex- that's exactly it, man. And it, so like we like Stevie yourself mm-hmm. and a couple of guys for Glasgow. I think the first guy I ever. I, 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 Tuned into a YouTube video by Mog. Mogs. And that was. Shout funny. out, Mog, man. This <laughs> fucking day, I cut one of the best lyricists that's ever graced this for fucking sure, planet. For sure, mate. For uh, sure, like, man. All kinds of music. All fucking uh, songs. Awesome. Like, it like, really made me understand and appreciate uh, it a wee bit that it wasn't this division about this kind of music and uh, this kind of music, mate. Uh, and, like, and not even that, he's. N- doesn't shy away from his accent in any way, shape, or form. Oh, totally embraces it. Embraces it. And and that probably helped me do it as well, because when I I was looking at somebody like that, I'm like, here's a guy who sounds the same as me, obviously, for the same kind of background, same kind of stories. This guy's uh, incredibly intelligent. You can just tell, like, if you allow that, if you hear that accent and go, nah, no, for me, you're fucking doing yourself a misservice. (laughs) I totally mean Because if you actually... Like just, again, just talk about more gear. Guy like a chance, man. I'm unbelievable. Oh, totally. I mean, see when you listen totally. to his storytelling, his lyricism, just and his musical he's, creativity. Yeah, like, mate, he's just, I don't he's, know. He's, he's been in bands of that now. I totally, know, mate. I mean? I, that's so, what I was going to say. But, I, 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 I did. I did find some live live band I, stuff from on that online he, as well. Just Brilliant. Just from perspective, mate, he was a massive influence to me, man. A massive influence. Aye. Anyway. And, and it can, what, what probably stood out to me the most was is like. But just been totally honest, when you hear somebody with a quote unquote neddy accent or a hangy accent, you, you, you probably do what we all do and kind of have this preconceived idea that it might not be that sharp or intelligent. I you know that, what that I mean? tells you about the person, aye, which is the, that's aye. the problem with that. And kind of he's, thing, a, totally. he's actually got a lyric that says, um, what is it he says again? Um, basically, something along the lines of a gee cunt's amnesia, the way you think cunt's had amnesia, the way I raised their first impression. And it's like fucking, nice, nice. do you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's so true, man. It's like anybody that gives him a chance, like I'm seeing anybody, anybody I've spoke to or anybody I know, gives him a chance. It's, and possibly the same with myself, a degree in a lot of Scottish hip hop. It's like, as you say, I was at my reservations to begin with, mm-hmm. but I gave it a chance, I get into it, and next thing you know, like, do you know what, I actually, can I enjoy us? Totally, mate. No, 100%, man, and it, and it was, a, I suppose, in some ways, like, we all kind of grew up being a bit, like, music hipster or music uh, snobby. Aye, uh, aye, yeah, yeah, absolutely, like, mate, we're all guilty we, of that. We're all guilty of that a bit, you know what I mean? And, and I, But I think for me, it really, like, it showed me, I know, I was like, we can do this. Aye. And I, and I went away, I'm like, aye. when I hear you and Steve aye, and, I, and aye, I, I get that same feeling, mate, aye, and I'm, aye, like, aye. I'm like, wow, that's aye. fucking quality, know you know what I mean? Like, I know what you mean, man. So I'd, I'm sure there's an R few, I'm sure there's R people in the scene that were kind of integral to, aye, to, aye, to, to the whole thing coming about, but for me, 
when I heard that, dude, I was like, that's Aye. some serious music there, do you know I, what I mean? I like, say that at that point, and I say that at this point, and to be fair, the last few years, I've heard some boys that have come out just in the last three, four years, and they're fucking tremendous. Oh, really? Like, really, Aye, really, who, do, really do you, who do you think? Who uh, McCroy's one of them, he's fucking lethal. Um, a boy called Zesh for Edinburgh's deadly. Boy Sherlock for Glasgow's lethal. Um, I mean, mate, I, I, to be honest, I could go on a few. Mo- Mog's obviously like my fucking. Is Mog still making music just now? As far as I know, he is, mate. Brilliant, aye, as mate. far as I know, he is. Quality, um, man. I mean, there's, there's, there's quite a few cats, man, but fucking. Uh, aye, it's still to this day. I, I always put Mog as kind of my number. My aye, number aye, one, aye, he's here on your mouth, Rushmore aye, of Scottish hip hop, mate. mate. Brilliant. Aye, well, I'm, that's kind of cool, mate, because to me, I don't really have a, like, as much as a dog in the fight kind of thing, but to me he's a he's a pivotal figure because he helped me really appreciate it as a full on valid mm-hmm. musical style and not just something that was like for English rap or, or English musicians or American musicians yep. and that do you know so that's that, and that's fucking really valuable aye, you know like aye, aye, definitely oh so fair play to him man fair play to him um, so when what was like what was the first kind of when was the first opportunity to perform in front of folk and when did you first get into the I think actual that was about 2014 as well and right, it was yeah. um, do you know Goals and Clyde Bank aye they fit there uh, uh, aye, aye. Astra Turf a, a boy I know had been putting a gig on he's like do you fancy it and I heard <laughs> they played there, any, I heard they played any gigs wow, before man. so it was just like a hip hop crowd that was there and I, I, I rehearsed like fuck I always did like, even up to my last gig I rehearsed the shit out of my so fucking gigs, m- a musician I mean? has to rehearse well, mate I, t- I rehearse good. it till I'm sick of it kind of Aye. Um, because it just, it's mere down to day with nerves like, I'm that fucking nervous I'm like you need to know what's inside confidence out. comes from experience Aye. mate and the moment you're well practised enough you don't feel that, that nervous you know what I mean Aye. No, totally, so totally. but then I fucking I was away a night out the night before man and I was any kind of knows me knows how bad my hangovers are, mate, and I was fucking bursting the next day. Like, I'd rehearsed all this time, and I was just pure dust. I was like, I'm going to make a country. It's a curse of the musician, mate. Oh, mate, I was fucking hanging, man. So I got up to the venue, and I was like, I'm not going to drink. No, as soon as I got there, I was like, he's a pint. Fucking take the edge off. And uh, I said a few pints, mate, to settle me down, and it kind of got delayed, and I was just getting more nervous. But in the end, I got on. Smashed the set, as, you know, as well as a first set could go. Aye. It fucking went well. See, I think it's after uh, Tank. I was fucking walking up to Cunt's like, effort. Like, was that all right? Was that sound? Like, I was that fucking thinking about it. Cunt's like, you smashed it, nah. Aye. So that was sound, mate. That's and good, it, but... And then for that, that just led on to different gigs. And uh, as you say, we experienced grew. And I started having a bit more swagger on stage. I started uh, interacting with the crowd more. I started mm. getting them involved in my fucking... I say a wee bit, do you know what I mean? So that came in time as Crowd well. Crowd play, mate, that's a big, big, massive part of it, do you know aye, what I mean? Aye. Like, and, that, and that's like part of the musical apprenticeship, and it? Like, as you start doing gigs and getting into it, you have to go through this whole separate learning aye, curve. Aye, like, how aye. do you deal with the crowd? Aye. How do you look and smile aye, and all that, know, you know what I mean? I know, mate, I know. Oh, that's class, mate, that's class. So what was this, what's your favourite gig? What's the, what's the gig you've done that you've, you've, you've had the most fun at? You've done a couple of quality support slots. I, I was that, just you know going mean? to say, mate, I've had a couple <clears> of really good gigs. I had a cracking gig at King Tut's one night. Um, I played King Touch and it was pretty packing, man. And it, it was a good performance, that mate. But I can't lie, really like they'd put a wee because I was like playing, they, I, I was like backstage and he'd like beers and all that for us. And I just fucking loved that, mate. The I, rider, I, mate. The rider, I, I, I was just like, ah, the fucking the Winona. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I had the rider, mate. The same thing. I went to Germany today, a gig, man. I went to Germany. I didn't know you'd done one abroad, I, mate, I, I was, uh, I was signed to. A a uh, label, Power Cut Productions, like, uh, uh, and your label, what's that called again? Independent. Independent label, but it's Steg G and that for mm-hmm. Power Cut, and he's like, ah, like, basically, we've got a gig in Germany, and they're wanting like, a, few, a few Scottish rappers here, if you're up for it, can I hang? I like, absolutely, mate, same again, jump, out out it. jump out of it. Big fucking we? spread, no, that can I hang, like, beers, no, I, I, know I, sh- I know it's made a bit of performance, <laughs> mate, but I, I just like getting fucking yeah, free mate, shit, do you know what I mean? Uh, mate, it's about fucking getting into that world, but, mate, and went, getting we, re- respected for we your, your work, you know what I mean? Absolutely, that's, mate, that's we quality. went out in Nuremberg, like, I fucking was paid, obviously done this live gig, beautiful city, you know, and it was just like, it was a pure... It was like a treat, do you know what I mean? Like I didn't, I, I just got a fucking a few days away, man, on a drink. That I fucking loved it. Um, got to say as well, Jory works full time. I mean, do I you know what I mean? Jory, time, that, so I like to, to like you can see how uh, you would treat it like that. Aye, 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 absolutely, mate. It was, it was like a fucking, it was brilliant, man. Probably a, re- a real standout gig for me was when I opened up for Ari the Rugged Man, and they all, right, right. they more. Um, he's obviously quite underground hip hop and he's fucking like, he's got devoted fans 
So, I mean, I, I brought a squad ways, a squad of boys up to support us, but the place was packed out, obviously, for Excellent rugged man. But I, I knew they wanted to get pure hype, so I'd done a pure hype. I was, like, breakdancing and that. <laughs> yes. I was breakdancing on fucking stage, mate. <laughs> fucking brilliant, mate. And, that's uh, class, man. And cunts were loving it, mate. And, uh, as I say, I was getting the crowd hyped. I was like, when I say go, as you say go. When I say rugged, you say man. And I were getting right into it. And, uh... I can't stop loving it, mate. It wa- and I done have I, I done my own version of now like House of Pain song, jump around. Aye, aye. So obviously, as like, soon as that beat comes on, <laughs> every, straight away, every cunt knows it. Know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm like, I'm getting cunts to jump, not just getting cunts to go mental. And um, it was just a brilliant gig, mate. And again, um, I got a nice wee fee for it, and I got, the spread was on, and I'd look. All the boys backstage and they're all fucking drinking beers and doing whatever else. No, this is fucking class. <laughs> and um, and obviously I was opening up for Rugged Man, aye, which is obviously somebody I'm a fan of. Aye, mate, that's a big deal, came man. All the way through America, and it wasn't that after the gig, man. I was getting like loads of messages for cunts like that. Best support I've ever seen. Like, brilliant, mate. Best support really, I've really seen good. in years. Fucking support was class. Support was brilliant. Like just hundreds of messages like that. Aye, I mean? aye. Like that. A, lot of, a lot of love getting a lot of love. Aye, that was a great thing. <clears throat> see the thing is too, I get I get paid in cash for the guy. I was end up smashing it. I, 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 <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? <laughs> and fucking so I get my money cash, and I was like stuck it in my sock, and fucking forgot all about it. And I went down the road, and I'm like, all right, where's that door? And I couldn't find it, mate. <laughs> it was in my. Like, I'd got my pal. He took the shame. And I was like, fucking, it wasn't in my pockets. I phoned him, you need to go out and check your motor. I was out in the street checking and all that. And fucking, I just crashed out in my couch. And I'm like, can't, great night, but I can't believe I lost that money. <laughs> and I fucking got up to get a shower and get changed. And the fucking money fell out of my socks. Oh, I was like, the fucking dancer, <laughs> man. <laughs> fucking yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that, mate. That was good, man. No, that's brilliant, mate. That's a, <laughs> that's a good highlight, man. I like it. I like it, mate. Um, aye, mate, no, that's, that's great, man. I think a really positive thing is, like, you get the, the Scottish hip-hop scene, the, <coughs> when a, an artist comes in, it's well-known for America, that they get the support aye. slots, which aye, I think aye, is aye. brilliant, Definitely, man. Like, mate. That wasn't always the case, but it's been Scottish boys before me that have pushed for that. Aye, so aye. people have been fighting for shit for years, do you know what I mean? Aye. So that's how we're in a position So now. when like, when when do you think it all kind of started then? When, was, when did the first kind of Scottish rap tune get put out? Mid to late 80s. Eight, eight, really? Before aye. I was born, mate. What? Aye. Wow, man. That's and a, that's one of them would have been Steg G, the boy I was talking about. Aye, he's, he's, he's on the radio and aye, he's aye, radio he's on radio show and that. Um, so they were thought about Ooh. in the 80s, didn't it, mate? Aye, they were thought about in the 80s, didn't it, man? And before before the actual rapping, um, there was a breakdancing element. Aye. So there was... Um, aye, and even, like, I know folk who have been right into the breakdancing locally that where people aye. would go down with a box and aye. that in the middle aye. of the high street. That's right, that, mate, that's right. Really? So that was a big thing in the 80s. There used to be crews that used to battle. Aye. Fit like Edinburgh and Glasgow and all that. Um, so that was all happening in the 80s and Man, that's a, but I did not know that, mate. That's a, I and mean, I, you know what's amazing to hear? It's been going on that aye, long, by the way. It just d- really d- f- no. further legitimises it if it needed it. Do you know what aye, I mean? Aye, aye. It's like going on for the 80s, mate. But as you know, the 80s and 90s, it was all word of mouth. And we've got internet now, so you're seeing everything that's going on. But aye. at one time, <gasps> guns were just out doing it for the love of it. Aye, Do you aye. know what I mean? And a lot of the cats are still doing it as day. Aye. Steg G, the free ma- freestyle master. Mr. Bowes, like just mad old school cats. No, that's quality, man. Who've been floating about doing it since fucking eighties. Aye, no, that that is that is quality, man. I didn't, I, mean? I didn't so know it had been going that aye, long, mate. mate absolutely, do you know? aye, definitely. No, I really, I'm really, I'm, I'm quite surprised to hear that too because it, I didn't know that. I'd, I'd never heard before. It never, aye. never heard. I, I think the first time I heard about it happening would have been when you were doing. Uh, like there was things in the park where he's were power. Aye, that was uh, that. the battles. The battles, the battles aye, aye, aye. aye. <laughs> I, mean, that's pl- I don't know if that was the first time I'd, I probably was the first time I'd even really kind of conceived it, do you know what I mean? Aye. Maybe uh, maybe just a wee bit before I, I don't know how how long aye, before aye, that you aye, started aye. or how was that, how close was that I mean, to again, the... Again, battles have been happening for years and years um, I had no real intentions of battling and then they were setting up battles and fucking somebody just says, do you fancy a battle? And I, like, I was like, ah. the way I seen it, it was kind of, at that time it was kind of good exposure because people were always checking out the battles because they, they were entertaining some cunts were class at it some cunts were shite aye um, <laughs> like I, everything right I, like I, was, everything. I was class obviously <laughs> uh, of course, ba- mate, my, of course. My, my first battle was like a cunt called Lex Lethal for Sterling and uh, it was at Kelvin Grove and it was fucking packing man it was hundreds of cunts there again nervous as fuck three rounds each 60 seconds uh, I think I kind of stuttered in my first round I, I just came into my head I'm going to fuck this here but I brought it back 
and I, I beat him three nothing. Aye. And cunts are like, who the fuck's this cunt? <laughs> yes, mate, that's class. Because <laughs> a lot of cunts were coming with my technical rhymes and wordplay, which is good, and I was right out of this game with a track, he just slaughtered me. Aye, you know aye, I mean? it was, like you were doing it, but you were, it was more aye. about like the, the, the reaction and aye, the power and as opposed to the technical expertise, do you know what I mean? Like, and like battles would get judged at the end, and like, I remember, because it was on YouTube at one time, and it's fucking been wiped, and it was like... Oh, has it? Is it nowhere? That's where the, I the, seen the, it first, the, mate. The, the, first, the first one's nowhere, and it was like, there was other battles that day, guys that had been battling for like a few years, and they were getting like... And I know it's not all about views and that, but they were getting like 500, 1,000 views and that. Mine's was away up at five, six, seven thousand views. Ah, the yeah. first battle, because cunts are like, ah, this is fucking hilarious. Ah, Who ah. is this cunt? I'm not blowing mine Trump. No, that no, mate. Trump, I get, you know I mean? That's totally it. It's facts um, are facts, mate. And, it, and like what you're saying is fair play. You're objectively speaking on what the ah, yeah. showing after it. Do you know what I mean? So like, I smoked him free nothing, and then I get a taste for it, because cunts were loving it. And then my next battle was um, King Tut's. And it was fucking stout, man. <laughs> but this time there was a lot, all your old school cats, but Morgan, all, all these kind of quote unquote big names in Scottish hip hop. Loki, fucking Louis Boy, Boys, all these cunts. And fucking, I was battling a boy called Jails for Liv- Livingston. <laughs> fucking smoked them free nothing, man. <laughs> and I was like, uh, and cunts were loving it, man. I could see like, the live crowd reaction. Like, I'm up on the stage and that. I'm just was there videos of that floating about? There was somebody had it on their phone, but that was it. I've right. still got battles online, like aye, di- aye. different battles, you know what I mean? But um, I can have done a few more battles. I lost a couple, unjustly, I must have. <laughs> but um, i done a few, mate, and then i done, my last battle i done was actually, fuck, this is 2002. It was like 2015 through in Edinburgh, a boy called Kid Robotic for Glasgow. Um, and I'd get beat a time before that, and I was like, ah, I fucking hate getting beat at shit. <laughs> I'm heavy competitive and it kind of ate at me. I was like, I need to go and beat this cunt and then I'm just going to chuck it because I, I really wa- I, I wanted to just focus on the music side of totally things. Totally, mate. The, 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 the no songwriting and what have you and gigs. Um, so I went and beat Kid Robotic, free nothing, through in Edinburgh. Um, again, great, <laughs> heroic, crowd, heroic. great, great, great reaction, man. I, I, I got a t-shirt made up saying "fuck this cunt," <laughs> and at the start every uh, round, I was like "fuck this cunt," and then I just started leaning into him. Um, cunts were loving it, know what I mean? So by 2015 was my last battle, mate. After that, I don't know if I'd say I grew. Yeah, like, I had two or three years in. I was like, I just wanted to concentrate and write. Totally, gyms, man, man. Totally. And, and I'm sure there would have, I'm sure there would have been some of the other boys that wanted to just focus on that. And then they'll have got shit hot at that over aye, the last aye, couple aye, of years. Absolutely. And that's quality, absolutely, do you know what aye, I mean? Aye, Good. Definitely. I think there's nothing, it's, as, lo- as long as people fund something, some kind of music, is whatever aye, it is, you're into it, do you know aye, what I mean? Aye, um, no, that's brilliant, mate, that's brilliant. Um, have you got any other, uh, any other standout moments of your, your career so far that you're, you, you would <sighs> care to mention? I liked it when it happened a couple of times. I would put videos out and, and you're like, you always want it to do well, but you don't know how well it's going to do. Um, the first time I tried quote unquote clickbait, I put a, a, just a video on Facebook and it was a, the beat was by a, a producer called Ninth Wonder and I just titled it Scottish Rapper Kills Ninth Wonder Beat. Fucking 190,000 views. <laughs> Mate, and shit like that, man, and you're just getting messages for cunts in America, fucking Norway, Australia, just cunts for around the globe like that, mate, deadly. Brilliant, mate. Um, of course, you're getting your hate with that as well, but it's totally part and mate. parcel. Aye, aye. Um, so I, it's always good when that happens. So that happened a couple of times, two or three times with videos, mate. I was over, I was over a hundred thousand, hundred thousand mark, and then, and then over the, like, a thousand reactions, like aye, likes aye. and stuff like that. So I always enjoyed when that happened. I always enjoyed getting interaction and just seeing the videos doing well, and just fucking. Can I go to the point as well? I was like, selling t-shirts and hoodies, and they were fucking flying and all. I was doing gigs, I mean, probably at my height in 2016, I was fucking gigging all the time, I was selling uh, hoodies and t-shirts, believe it or not, there was actually a couple of cunts uh, that I'd run into wanting autographs and pictures and that, <laughs> I was in a shop one day, yeah, that's brilliant, mate. I was that's in a shop one day in Glenside, talking to my pal Sha, owns a shop and fucking a woman just came in and she looked at me and took a double date and she's like, can I get your autograph? And I was like, ah, fuck you want, aye. <laughs> and then, again, like, uh, the fucking icy, and a woman with like, her wee grandson, and she, she sorry, you got a picture with me and that? And I'm like, oh, obviously, look. So, and then just been recognised in the like, area. Cunts were fucking, I was really starting to feel like, a lot of recognition, at, like going to, just going to a shop and floating about, and I felt as if cunts were starting to recognise us all mm-hmm. the time, and cunts were always saying, I'm sure they were, mate, I'm sure you know they were. I mean, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were I, I got to a stage, man, it was like, 
you would always catch cunts kind of looking at you know no that I'm saying by any stretch of imagination that was famous but I think just by having videos so many videos online totally, and constantly mate, totally. posting it I was becoming familiar certainly in my own community mate I don't think there's you sh- in no way should you be worried about saying that man like you Aye. were able to jump on a you were able to put some content out there some good songs right Aye. but also jumping onto the social media Aye, using, I done that. I done using that, YouTube definitely. and using Aye, clickbait Aye, and that to, you, that. like that's there's nothing <coughs> the, 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 the absolutely is no surprise that you would be getting I'll, that I'll recognition I'll with the numbers you. mate you know what I mean Aye, like I'll that's class this mm. is kind of sad right but this was this is just something that can't be matched man um, I done a song a couple of years ago um, called No Even God Can Judge Me <coughs> it was a mad time I was just going through her as a self reflection I was out, I, w- I was half a drink I was meditating and all that. I was going out at 6 every morning walking and uh, I wrote this tune man and uh, I hadn't pre-planned it but um, I remember I, you, you, were, you all remember yourself but that Terrible thing happened during um, Rossi a wee last. He got murdered with Alicia McPhail. Yeah. Do you remember? Aye, it was a terrible story. It was a shocking was, story, aye, mate. Was really, f- obviously, I've got two daughters myself, so it's just unbearable to think about. So I was writing this tune one day, and that just kind of came into my head. So the middle verse, I, I wasn't even dedicated to the last. It was about what happened, and it was aye. about my, my, just me being absolutely gutted that something like that could happen, and just how everybody was gutted that totally something like that could happen. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I I done that and that was fine and a couple of folk had shared the tune and like that great um, hanging to we we Alicia McPhail and I was like ah, that's fair enough if that's how you see it um, I didn't want people to feel as if I was using that for any sort of, of course, attention mate, of I was course, hand on heart genuinely fucking gutted aye. it's such a tragedy happening to a, a aye, of course, lassie, mate, you know aye, what I mean aye. so but one day I got a message and um, a slash is just like oh. Like, I heard your song and it, and it just helped me so much, you know. And I was like, Ah, oh, I need worries. And I was like, Did, did you know? I take it you knew that we last And she's like, I'm on more. Oh my god, man. And Jesus. she's like, um, You're joking, man. I couldn't believe it. And I was like, Fuck, can I take that back? Um, and she's like, That song's really touched me. She's like, It's fucking helped me in Aye. a way. Wow, mate. Do you That's know what amazing, I mean? Man. And I'm like, That's Gigs, amazing. money, attention. I'm like, ah, at last, she said something horrific happened to her. Totally, man. Like, just undescribable. And I've wrote something that she's took some solace in. Mate. You've helped, mate, uh, using your you music. I mean? That's uh, wild, wow, man. That's big, uh, man. That's uh, big. And to me, all I've done was commentate on something that I was just fucking really affected by. Aye. I mean, I mind seeing it on the news with fucking tears in my eyes. Totally, mate. Do you and, know what I mean? And I'm sure being a da yourself, having, <laughs> having wee lasses, mate. it's... Uh, it's uh, uh, I'm, ass- I'm assuming, like, when you wrote that bit, man, it's probably you're viewing it through the lens of yourself and then that's why Aye, it's... Aye, I, I mean, ju- I mean? Ju- it was just... I mean, I can't even mind the verse itself. It was just kind of saying, you know, I'd seen what happened and it just hurt me, man. Aye, I couldn't believe uh, it. But. And obviously, I kind of ended it with a bit, you know person that done it, do you know what I mean? I kind of hope you get which company kind of thing, but for the most part of the verse, it was just about my, my, my fucking heartbreak, my, totally and my man. disgust, and my, and just how me, along with the fucking nation, felt about such a horrific crime, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, mate, yeah. Um, totally and, man. and so to get a message for her, I'm always just, I was flabbergasted. I mean, do you know I, what I mean? I, I, mean, I, I kind of had one or two moments like that myself, where it's been uh, absolutely, it's like it, it's hard to equate even next day like aye a gig and it's great aye. fun doing gigs and aye, that and it's, it's, it's great it's amazing it's doing music I, I, for I, a living I, I, and that I but like feedback, not me, um, but that kind of thing really s- like, touches you it's a aye, special mate. a special moment aye, mate. and aye, you know you've done like, something really nice aye, 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 it's aye. quality man so I've always kind of I've always remembered that anyway you know maybe she's just like that you know somebody else really does get it aye, aye, possibly, do you know what I mean and that's possibly. like for a moment made her no feel alone and aye, that, you aye. Know, that's a, a really special one. I think that's what art's meant today mate aye. Like, what, what, it, it's supposed to touch people where it's supposed to touch people mate right what it's meant to be but and I think we all like the, the whole, everybody, all the musicians in the world, that we, the whole industry get, gets caught up in the the thrill of success uh, of course, and, the, and the thrill of um, views and making aye, money. Aye, and absolutely. Like, and absolutely. sometimes even just getting a few gigs locally. And aye, aye. Like, but then when you think about like that kind Shit of thing, like mate, that, that's, mate, like, life. that's art, you know I mean? uh, touching a person. Mate, aye, that's aye. like genuine, the genuine response that's supposed mm-hmm. to come from making beautiful art. Aye, aye. And I would say that's what you've done there, mate. Aye, you know aye, aye I mean? mate. Unintentional. Everything else about art is, 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 is subjective, aye, mate. Do you know what I mean? But the, the essence of it is what you've done there, man. And that's a beautiful story. Story, mate. Aye, aye. 
Oh, I, that, man? I had a once when I was in Australia, I'd done a bit of travelling and that and lived as aye, a musician right, and that. That's and, right, aye. Um, and that guy came up to me and he was like, I, I, I just had a long eight hour stint busking all day. Aye, like, aye. And, I, and I was aye. in the middle of a song and that. And sometimes people come up and like, fist bump you in that. That's right, aye. And you're like, ah, try to do a strum <laughs> pattern, like, strum, strum, fist bump, strum, aye, strum. Aye, you know aye, what aye, I mean? Like, aye. And when I went to the day, I guy looked at the guy and he was pure breaking his heart, greeting and all that. Do you know right, what I mean? And aye. he was coming up and putting money in my guitar case, and I was like, "Fucking hell, man! I, he's going through something." Aye, do you know aye, what I mean? Aye, so aye. I just was like, all "Right, mate, thank you very much." Cheers, and, blah, blah, and I stepped back and just play, <coughs> finished off playing the song and that. And the guy must have sat for half an hour watching us. Mm-hmm. And then, it, like, when I stopped to like have a wee, a wee break, or I, be, I might have been packing up. I can't remember. I think I was actually packing up because I went and I went and hung about with him for ten minutes afterwards, but. Um, and he's come up to me and he was like, ah, mate, thank you, f- thank you so much and that. Aye. And I'm like, ah, what? obviously I'm like a foreigner in these streets aye, and I'm aye, like, aye, what, aye. what are you talking about, mate? I was like, aye, sound and that. And he was like, no, mate, honestly, I was about to go and kill myself there. What? And I was like, and you don't really know how to take some aye, that, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, like, what do you mean, me? mate? He's like, listen, I was in a really bad place and just before, I just sat and listened to you for half an hour and I feel a lot better and I just felt she like... stopped. I just wanted to tell you the effect it had, and I was like, ah, that's tremendous. You're nearly man. greeting myself, aye, do you know? Aye, what I feel like greeting the room. I feel like greeting the room, mate. Oh, that's it, mate. That totally, is tremendous, mate. Totally, mate. mate. That's a fucking again unintentional. Ah, aye, mate. Aye. It's fucking saves lives as ma, well. Do ma you know performance. What I, mean? I don't know. I, I, I don't. He's probably just felt the music, mate. Aye, he's mate. He's probably just felt it. Just got got a bit of a buzz of like it's it's all right. And he's, he's for a maybe minute, he's, you know he's, I mean? he's maybe been walking past Sergi. Obviously, took interest as you see. He's been tearful. And he's maybe seen it as a sign and went like that, do you know what? Fucking, there is beauty in life. Aye, mate. It's totally. not that bad. So once There I is fi- a future. Once I finished, I was like, ah, I better, I better hang about with him for aye, a bit, make sure he's alright, do you aye, know aye, what I mean? So, man. But I had a chat with him and that, and he was like, ah, no, look, I didn't mean to be all like... Aye, scare you. To scare you, aye, aye. aye. He's like, I just felt it was necessary to tell you mm-hmm. that I was, hang- I was going that way, aye. and then I watched you, and then... Aye, it changed. And I was like, Phew. And he's seen that you as a sign I mean? as well, because a lot of people will be like, ah, I'm going to do this unless I got a sign. Aye. And he's fucking. Aye, and they got, been they a sign. Got, that's been a sign, sign, mate. So he think it like. Aye. The universe you, you, you've been that sign, aye. I've been like, the, the universe has used me to, Aligned. to show him it's all right. Aye, you know mate, what I mean? Or, amazing. Or something like that. I don't aye, know. Aye, you know, aye, like, aye, 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 aye. You would like to think of that, mate, definitely. Like, it's not a fluke. Nah. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's just a case of. Well, that's a bigger discussion right there, Right place, like, the right time, innit? But that's like for your fate and like, aye, like free aye, will versus fate aye, and all that kind of argument. Well, mate, ah, you could, but I think, like, ultimately, mate, it's it's <clears throat> it's one of the things like like playing music is fantastic. Uh, there's nothing else in the world for me. Do you aye, know what I mean? Aye. But I never realised the levels to it. Mate. Do you know what I mean? I never Amazing. until like. Oh, I've got a couple of stories about ah, I can away, believe actually, it, mate. You know I can away, believe it, man. Well, I, um, well, I'll, 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 I'll know, I'll know bore the listeners with all them today. Do you know sure what I mean? But I knew this woman, Daphne, and she would, she was like Aboriginal woman in, in right. Australia, but she would, she was like she was part of the stolen generation Aye. and stuff, and like. Yep. She was a she was a really lovely woman in that, but mm-hmm. she so she would but she would hang about the town and she would come and listen to us and Aye. um like. So, like oh, I think the fact that we were like foreigners in the city, and she ah. was like, like, "What is going on?" Ah, so she, yeah, loved, yeah. she loved the idea that oh, this city had so many buskers and that, ah, and right, we were okay. off to different parts aye, of the world. Aye, aye. So I got that must have been pretty cool, man. Uh, I was dying, mate. That, be like that. Uh, but that was amazing, mate. Like to be honest, like it was the life of a traveling musician. Is aye. like I would recommend it to any aye, musician aye, for aye. a while, anyway. Aye, aye, aye definitely, mate. It's a bit a good experience. But Daphne, uh, I I knew her well and that, and it had been. I knew I was there for a year, and then I went away, and I came back, and then I met her again when right. I was back, and aye, I, aye. I was playing David Gray one day, and she died on the street. <laughs> right? What? <laughs> I was playing, I was playing a David Gray song. Oh, right, what the fuck? Aye, mate. No, it's like she's trapped. She, she just she, she was dancing to the song, and that, and then I went like that, and can I finish the song? And like before I realised what was happening, I'd looked over and like she'd kept she'd keep like passed out, passed aye, out aye, on the aye, street, aye, aye. and people were rushing in to try and help her and that. Aye. And then like basically like the, the woman passed away before Wait, she, was before she? she even got to the hospital. Can I think like she was, must have been seventy plus. Oh, she, she, was she, was a, a, she was she was an old woman, an older woman. Aye, anyway, aye, you know aye. I mean? But um, fair, she still out danced in the street. Fucking aye, fair mate, play. Do you know, like we all, died doing what she loved. Every mate, everybody said that. That's aye. funny. That's funny. You. That's aye. what you say, mate. Because as much it was as a, a heavy moment, 
like a, in a way like a, a, that she, was she was doing what she loved she absolutely uh, loved us and she, she loved was enjoying the last moments and she and and, I, and it, it, it certainly seemed that way man aye Ultimately, like once unless your your fucking music was that bad, it's fucking killer. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, I suppose I would like to nah, guys know the case. Chance, <laughs> new chance, mate, new chance, new oh, charges, no. new charges. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, not at all, not at all. And again, and then I had obviously the same kind of stories that you would imagine, where I was like cider merchants in the street uh, grabbing oh, notes out of the guitar case them, and I, 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 I had to get really good at uh, 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 like kicking uh, from uh, behind uh, the mic, stone, uh, mic uh, stands you know what uh, I mean uh, it that's was, an experience isn't it aye uh, mate well I mean I, I think like it's like it's like what you get anywhere mate I've busked in Glasgow and I've, I've like you get the same thing you uh, know, but Glasgow it's a bit different people in Glasgow will be like ah, hearing that and try and stop somebody doing that to a busker uh, you know what I mean right. doesn't know that no everywhere is like that do you uh, know what I know what you mean um, but I made an experience that was my sounds certainly it, man. A, an experience it sounds it so what is on the horizons then what, what are you planning to do mate now we're all coming out of the pandemic people, people, gigs are back on so um, what's, it, what's the plans musically okay. I've just started writing again recently. Um, I definitely want to get a couple more tunes out. Um, so where do you do? When you, so see when you go, when you're writing a tune, what's your what's your process? How do you so go? So my my first um, well, it depends. Sometimes it just some lyrics will come to and I'll just make a note of them in my my phone, and, I, and I'll try and fit them into a tune, or I'll come up with a concept for a tune, or I'll just start writing. But usually, what I do is, in, in the past, what I've done spent hours doing is is fucking beat hunting. So that can be for listening beats to YouTube to find a certain producer going through their SoundCloud. There was one producer, what was his name again? I think it was for Journey. And he had like fucking thousands of, ch- just thousands of beats on his SoundCloud, mate. And I just used to fucking smoke a fucking J, man. Is that all right to say that? <laughs> <laughs> back in the day when I, back in the day when I done that, I don't do that anymore. But I just used to like fucking have a wee uh, Jamaican woodbine. <laughs> and just fucking surf through beats, mate. <laughs> that Jamaican wind, mate. Surf through beats for hours, mate, and then eventually you'd find and you'd be like, oh, I'm on that. Aye. I'm taking that. And then you'd need to buy it, of course. You know what I mean? Like, you would need to get in touch, buy the beat, and then you're, you're just, for the next couple of weeks, you're just living with that beat mm. day and night, just going over so it. So, see if you're, it. like, buying that after me, are you buying a, are you buying a tune that's got, like, chords and all that? Are you just taking the actual beat? And then I'm just taking the beat, so the, the, the producer, um, or the beat maker, he's sat, he's done something I would love to be able to do, but I've never fucking I did wonder if you if you tried doing nah, it yourself. Never, never I mean. try to make beats, mate. Um, so, uh, so I'm just curious. I suppose, like when we're talking about beats, right? Aye. I'm thinking the drum beat, right? Aye, aye. But then I'm thinking, right? You've also going to have chords, a bass line, aye. guitar, maybe piano, whatever, yeah. whatever are instruments in there. So see if you're getting that beat. You're just buying the beat on. I'm its just own. buying the beat. So that beat maker, he's sat, and you can get a uh, piano. You can get aye, it you get all online. Aye, 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 so aye. he, what his job is, and what he probably loves to do. Is sit and put that all together mm-hmm. and make a beat and go, ah, that beat's banging, that's going on my SoundCloud and it's going up for 50 quid or whatever uh, it is. Is that, is that the kind of price he's at? me, I've, I've bought beats at 20 quid, I've bought beats at fucking 500. Oh, have you? Aye, wow, honest, mate. Wow, aye, aye. Aye. That's, that's but, really surprising mate, to hear, See mate, between, see that between that buying beats, studio time and s- certain music videos, um, and I did see it as, i never seen it as a waste of money, I've just seen it as spending the money on something I love, it was an investment. But mate, I've easily, easily spent upwards of 10 grand, man. Easily. Mate, well, look, mate, you've got to speculate, accumulate, uh, do you know what I mean? And and I, it, and I, I mean, I made a bit of money, but I, I never ever seen it as a oh, fuck shit, I need to pay us. Like, I wanted to do it, it was totally, like, mate, totally. I was working overtime in it to get money to do that shit, do you uh, know what I mean? So That's but, interesting, but mate, I don't think a lot of people... I'll be honest, I don't think a lot of people fully appreciate, mate, that somebody's, oh, mate, somebody's out working people. 95 and then paying that kind of money it, just so that they can put out music that they love in their own time. That's, that's, that's amazing. People, mate, see, you know I mean? people see, and it's not MD's fault, but people see the video when it comes out. Oh, where's Johnny coming out with another video? I'll check it out whenever. But before that, there's been probably a fair bit of money spent. Um, there's been probably been time in a studio. There's been weeks fucking writing a tune. Um, there's been a lot of fucking organisation going into it. Um, but again, that was what I wanted to do. Um, but the process for that, as you asked there, was I, I would get a beat, I would settle on a beat. I mean, for every tune you heard, there was 50 that went in the bin, mate, to be quite honest with you. Aye. There was a lot of a lot of tunes that went in the bin until that's I got... That's the filtering process, Do you know what mate, I mean? That's, Aye. that's totally normal, but... Um, and I would sit and I would just write and I would sometimes I would rewrite it or sometimes I'd be lucky enough where it just came 
it came to me quite well and I was like, that's fucking, I don't need to do much else to that, do you know what I mean? Um, and that would be the that would be the writing process and then of course the next process would be getting in touch with somebody with a studio. But luckily for me, Steve had the home set up mm-hmm. and he was quite good technically with all that mm-hmm. shit. Really? I was fucking, that was terrible, man. Mate, it's a learning curve, man. You, you, but there, I believe that there's shit that you're good at and shit that you're not. <laughs> Because I, I bought all this shit. I Aye. bought a mic, I bought a mixer, I bought I had software and all that. And I was like, I'm going to give us a go, mate. And I bet ended up just selling all this shit. I was like, I'll write tunes and just pay some cunt to fucking record me. You, mate, like, that's no, that's, you know what I mean? you, that's you just hyper focusing on the important part of it. But, Aye. like, somebody like me say, once they, I'm getting the buzz out of day and all that other Aye. stuff in the background. Aye, aye, aye. And as, as as well as the main bit of the songs and that. Aye, but, aye. But, like, writing all the other parts is part of it. But see if you know that that's not where your focus is, aye. mate. And then why would you know use that approach? Do you know? Aye, like, that's, aye. I think I would say that's just, that's what, a smart thing to do, mate. What, what I would say as well is, mate, been totally honest, a lot of that's just done to impatience. Aye. I was younger. And if it didn't fucking happen there and then, fuck us, somebody else can do it. I'll, st- I'll stick to writing tunes and fucking rapping the songs and somebody else can do it. See, to be honest, no, been a bit older. I, I would like to see more patient, man. <laughs> but I'm more, I'm more a bit more patient. Like, I do things now and fucking just generally in life and I'm like, all right, just, you need to have a bit more patience. Do you know what I mean? When I was young, I fucking wanted it done yesterday. Aye. And if it wasn't done yesterday, I was fucking raging and all that. Aye. Aye. And I, to be fair, mate, I actually, I, I, I sometimes I put songs out before they should have went out because Aye, I was just wanting you've been it out. Too impatient. <laughs> and then after a few weeks, I like, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that, and it was something I did try and work on, and I was successful at sometimes. But for a lot of time, or some of the time at least, I was fucking. I always felt as if you could have took a bit more time there. Aye, but it was just something that it was just the way I was, mate. I think that's a classic problem you know for I mean? all is, mate. Aye. Everybody, I'm I'm a bit like that myself now as well. I don't want to put it out unless it's of the, of the best quality it can be. Do See, you know, now, though, it's kind of the opposite. I'll have a song and I'll be like, I want to do this and I want to do that, and it ends up fucking sitting that long. I kind of I don't want to do it anymore. Mm, that's like, a problem. It's been, it's been sitting too long. And Aye, I don't want it. Whereas two months ago, it was ready to go and you weren't fucking happy with totally, it. Totally, mate. So 100%. it's a try to find a happy medium, isn't it? Aye, mate. No, I mean, I think that's completely normal as well, mate. The songwriting process is, is, is it's, it's, it's like uh, the world order, do you know Aye. what I mean? Um, I so... Well, you kind of alluded to something earlier on there uh, when you were talking about like uh, some negative comments. Aye, aye, that's right. So, I mean, it's <coughs> no, I don't like hyper focus on the negative either, no, mate. But, but it's I, part think, and I think it's interesting to let people know how to deal with that as well. I used you know what I mean? So, how did you deal with that? What was the kind of patter you were getting? And in the beginning, in the very, very beginning, I was only getting a couple of comments. Um, so that was sound. As my videos and songs started to gain me attraction that would obviously be going to a wider audience. Aye. So it was open me to criticism then, especially when you're getting over 100,000 views, you're Aye. getting a lot of comments, a lot of negativity, and it done my fucking nothing. I was like, what are they all about? They don't. As I said, mate, if somebody sits down and listens to the tune and gives you an honest feedback, I'm the one to act for whatever reason. Fair enough. Totally. You've took the time to listen to it. Aye, I you're respect, your opinion. I respect totally. your opinion. That's As it, I said, mate. see if it's somebody that's just criticising it for the sake of criticising it, the chances are, Obviously, they're going to be pretty close-minded. They've not even gave it a chance. They maybe even want to date themselves, but they're too fucking scared. So they react to that by criticising you. It's a classic, do you know what I mean? Aye. Just criticising people. Aye. Um, which we're all guilty of doing when you're not happy in yourself. You tend to criticise a lot more. Aye. Um, I'm the internet cer- certainly made aye, that, that, aye, that easier. I, I mean, I'm certainly mm. guilty. Of, but in the, be- in the beginning, it was like that. And then just fucking, if after so many years, you're like that. Negative comments are a good thing, mm-hmm. if anything, mm-hmm. because no everybody's going to love what you do, no mm-hmm. matter who you are. I don't care if you're fucking totally. 50 cent, do you know what I mean? Like, I, we spoke a wee bit before we started recording earlier aye. as well, it's like it doesn't matter if you're getting 90 million views and there's that, going there's 100,000 dislikes. There's 100,000 dislikes there and there's, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's going to be comments no like that, so maybe aye. make something that everybody likes, so take the fucking good with the bad, if it's, um, if it's like... Um, positive criticism where it's maybe one guy wrote one time I really like this rap but he's got too too many Americanisms in it I was going like that before I started rapping yo yo and I'm like ah, see to be fair that's a fair comment I never say yo in normal day to day life <laughs> I kind of took it on board just for listening part of the style aye aye, aye, aye. so I'd be like yo yo my name is no I mean aye, and, I, and, and, I, and I was like that's a completely fair comment and so 
and lap. Aye, it's a fair comment, but it's also completely fair to no disregard it entirely. Aye, I could, do you know I could, what I mean? I could, like, I, could, I could totally disregard it because I've disregarded a lot of shit. Aye. That people have said you should try this and you should try that, and then you go into fucking. I don't even want to get, get into it too much, <laughs> but it's like, sometimes you just go into cunts profiles, and do you know why I used to go into cunts profiles? Cunts be like that, this guy thinks he's a gangster. Um, it, people would say shit like this, this is the kind of comments you get, thinks he's a gangster and that, and I'm like, I think I'm a gangster because I make rap music. <laughs> and so, just to prove myself right, because it's fucking nine times out of ten at home, right, you go into the cunts profile fucking picture and it's some cunt story with a fucking claymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, it, and it's just, do you know what I mean? It's just, it, like, fuck, it's like a 35 year old fucking man with fuck the police in his bio. Aye. And it's, Aye. and you go like that, is it really worth me stressing out about cunts like this? Totally. As I says, if you're a fan of music, if you've got constructive criticism, again, plenty of folk wearing like that, no my cup of tea, but fair play to you doing your thing, totally respect it. But when it comes to negative, you're going to get neg- like anybody that wants to start making music or being a comedian or doing any sort of arts where you're going to put yourself out there, you will receive criticism. But you need to distinguish between fucking don't don't somebody that's never done it or has no got a clue, don't lose any sleep with that. If it's somebody that's got some positive criticism, constructive criticism, take it on board. It could help you going forward. Totally. But never take it personal. Totally. If you're putting yourself out there then you're going to ex- you need to expect feedback, good and bad. Aye, if you put yourself out there for judgment, sometimes you're going to get the, yeah, ne- the negative get side it. of that. You're right? going to get it. But I think I, I think that's what it is. It's, it, but I think it's important that people know and understand how to deal with that. And there's like so. If you get, so like you're saying, if you get that and it's for somebody in your industry, aye, say, and it's somebody that could potentially help you in some way. Mm-hmm. And that listen to what they've aye, got to say. Do you know what I mean? If you're absolutely. just even if they're being an asshole, don't aye, listen aye, to it. Like, aye, aye, I but, agree. But uh, as you say, if it's somebody and it's just like somebody that's no happy with their own life on. Aye. On, and, and they go on to social them, media to You can tell people, them a mile away like, because it's just a pure derogatory comment. It's not even regarding the music. It's just... Um, it's an ad hom attack I, I, on I, you. I, done a wee, I just a, done a wee quick opinion. rap one day on my phone. I just in my room and I filmed it and some cunts like, check the Asda bed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> right? And it's funny that. It's funny that. But it cunts don't listen to a fucking <laughs> word I've said, obviously. Do you know what I mean? It's just... He's, he's had a look at the video and he's been like, right, what can I see here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Some of, them, some of them are classic, some of them are funny. I, again, I, I used to get raging and then I got to the point where I found it funny, a lot of it Aye. funny, because you're like, these cunts have no got a clue. Aye. They've never wrote a tune in their life. They've, Aye, they've never put themselves out they've there for judgment. They've never done it, man. <laughs> so do not be discouraged, especially when it comes to people who don't know what fucking day of the week it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's very well put, mate. Yeah. No, I absolutely agree, mate. I absolutely agree, man. Um, I think um, I think it's one of the ones and all. It's like, be sure to be, sure to be aware that when you're getting into the creative industry of, or any sort of creative industry that you're going to, you're, you're putting yourself out there for judgment and sometimes you're going to get the negative side of that, but you, you don't need to take that on. Do you aye, know what I mean? Aye, and absolutely. You, and you certainly, when it comes to like Wayne's and cyberbullying and uh, stuff like that, you know, like that's aye. when you're like, that's when getting like, getting that in early and knowing that people don't need to take that on. They don't need to, they and don't of need course, to if, it, if it, there was one guy, I know, man, it just fucking completely stalked me. Really? He just, <laughs> it, it just commented in every tune saying how shite it was. And it went on for ages, man. And you done what? <laughs> really? That's fucking walloper through to Halden, I think he is. <laughs> Honestly, if I see you cunt, man, it's fucking... <laughs> love it. Um, he was just commenting on, like, how shite every tune was. Aye. Um, and, do you know what it's that? I'd, I'd done a gig in Edinburgh, my cousin came with us, and he's uh, w- watching Miller live or whatever, and he's like, uh, that's not a live gig or something pure stupid, and it's like, uh, all right then, mate. And then after that, he just fucking commented on how shite it was, and I, eventually I was like, mate, if it's that bad... What are you fucking listening why to? Why are you <laughs> coming on to every single thingy? And he's like, oh, I'll let you come on for a laugh and all that. And I, I, I've never blocked end in my life, but I was like, like he's, you're just doing my tits in now. Because it was getting to the stage, I was starting to comment back, then I'm like, right, Marcel, what are you doing? Aye, why are you getting caught up with yourself? Why are you letting but it in? He aye. was getting what he wanted, he was getting a reaction, because he was a fucking nobody. Aye. And it turns out he wanted to rap... He was a, ra- a bedroom rapper, what they call aye, aye. Um, But he'd done the gigs, he'd released the tunes, and he was like, ah, 
I would smoke you in a fucking battle or something. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, right. Well, it it made sound. No, I, it like, sound, you know what I mean? That's cool, whatever. Aye. And then I, I found myself getting fucking pulled into the, neg- the negativity way. Totally, well, that's what it is, really, isn't it? We're and I was like, ah, mate, just, fuck, just fucking block him, man. Uh, because you know it was annoying him, Tank? He was seeing what I was doing, he was seeing how shite I was. But he was seeing I was, my tunes were getting, uh, getting, getting, were getting, getting a good mer- amount of attention, you were getting, getting mer- mer- popular attention. feedback. He seen that like I was this. fucking, I was selling merch, he seen I was doing a lot of Aye. gigs, he was seen I was getting good support slots, he was seen I was getting a lot of love in the community. Totally, mate, totally. And it fucking got to him. Aye. And it, it got to the point, he couldn't help you, sir. That's it, like, fucking get out and do something about it, man. If you're already absolutely. a fucking rapper, Ab- put, start putting your stuff out there. Like, absolutely, mate. Why would, you, why would you try that? There is a bit of a problem, though. Uh, I don't know if it's just west of Scotland or if it's the uh, UK in uh, general, but there's a bit of a problem with people that are more interested in chopping ours uh, down than fucking helping to lift uh, ours up or lifting themselves up, do you know what I mean? And and I, I even went on to like a podcast one night. I'd done a podcast a couple of years ago, and it was like live, and it was like getting filmed live. Next thing you cunts fucking on alive, I just cunts shite now. <laughs> and I'm like, I was just like, imagine being that fucking bitter. <laughs> imagine being that bitter. It's unbelievable. But anyway, mate, long story, I'm saying long story short. But um, <laughs> I just blocked him because I was like, there's no well, point in going fucking toe to toe. He's no trying to have a constructive on. chat. He's no, mate, he's no at all. He was just like, he's shite, he's pish. Um, this is laughable. Oh, it's part of that. Like, like, we'll move on then. Nah, totally, mate. If totally. I didn't like a kind of music that much or a, an artist that much, if I hated somebody, I'd be like, he's shite. No, listen to him again. Aye, aye. But I think it probably felt because we were in close enough quarters that I'd maybe get back at him, which I did, which I regretted because I, I could have lowered myself. You did, aye. Um, but it doesn't matter who, wouldn't it, mate? Aye, you know I, I know. Mean? Like, I know, because it was all, continuous. Everybody, if you, if you once you snap or you bite at something, you know, everybody's like, oh, after I know, no way, I, I don't know. know, I know. I mean? So I just blocked him, mate, after that. Nah, you're yeah, better off, mate. That's raise the block hammer with people like that, aye, and it, do you know what I mean? Aye, that's, mate, that's it. it. So, where do you think I've got, um, have you got, Thoughts about anybody you would like to work with in the future, or anybody in the in the Glasgow scene? I know me and you're going to do something. I was just going to uh, say, man, I've always mm. I've, something I've never really done. I've rapped on acoustic beats, aye. but I've never done like made a tune. Me, so aye, just aye. I, I just would love yourself aye, well, to we're, play we're guitar. Do, uh, I want you to play happen, guitar, me to rap, and obviously I would like you to do a chorus and all. Aye, so I love your singing voice, as no, you know. Definitely, hundred you know I mean? percent. Um, so that's I would great. love to do that, mate. I'm in near us today. Any, any grand fucking spectacular plans? I've reached a stage where. I just kind of, if I want to make music, I'll make it just kind of the way I want to do it. Totally, I used I, to your f- own schedule. I, totally. When I was younger, I used to feel that I would need to do certain things within certain time frames and um, impress certain people. And maybe it's just an age thing where I'm like, ah, I'll, I'll fucking do what I want now. Totally, mate. Do you know what I mean? Totally. I'll do what I want. So I, I definitely want to do that, mate. It'd be, it'd be cool to get a couple of gigs under the belt as aye, well, because as you know, gig, gigs weren't uh, happening there for a while. Aye, man. Um, and apart from that, mate, I just want to get back into the process of writing, totally. which I've done recently, but to, just to get in mere depth for it. Aye, you know aye, aye, that's going to be your, your few steps, isn't it? Like a few steps back into writing, and aye. then you'll want to get back in the studio, and then aye. once you've got a few new tunes, you'll be wanting to get back. Get out there and do a wee, <laughs> a wee bit of gigging uh, uh, in that as well, mate. No, that's good. Well, mate, I think we're basically at the end yet, man. Thanks very much for fucking coming in, mate. Aye, mate, enjoyed it. Um, I've got, as, as I say, it's a new thing we've got going, and I'll fucking hopefully get you back in. Aye, mate, be up for that any time, man. Fantastic. Definitely, mate. mate, enjoyed it. Cheers for having us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my conversation with Scottish rapper and top guy, Miller. Hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I hope you'll come and join us for the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Welcome to the studio with Paul Sheeran.